Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the 20 kg chandelier is suspended from the wall in a ceiling using rod AB and BC which have diameters of 3 mm and 4 mm respectively. Determine the angle theta so that the average normal stress in both rods is the same. So we have to find this angle theta for which the average normal stress in both of these rods remains the same. So we can say that we want to find theta for the stresses, the average normal stress in both the rods equals uh, equal, right? So if we say that sigma AB, the average normal stress in AB is equal to the average normal stress in BC. So average normal stress in AB will be equal to FAB, the force in AB divided by the area of that AB. So the diameter of uh, the rod AB is 3 mm. So this rod has a diameter of 3 mm, right? So the area will be pi divided by 4 and 3 mm is 3 divided by 1000 is 0 0.003 square. Similarly, the average normal stress in BC will be FBC divided by its area so pi divided by 4 now the diameter of this is 4 mm so that is we can see that this is 0 0.004 square now pi divided by 4 will cancel out and we will have if I multiply both sides of equation with 0 0.003 square so we can write FAB equal to 0 0.003 square FBC divided by 0 0.004 square. So we can say that 0 0.003 square divided by 0 0.004 square. So this gives us FAB equals to 0 0.563 FBC. So this is the relationship between FAB and FBC if the average normal stress in both the rods remains the same. So this is one equation, right? So since we have two unknowns, we need one another equation to find FAB and FBC and then we will, that will lead us to find that angle theta. So as we know that um, if we draw the free body diagram at B, so at B we will have the tension force in this BC rod. So let's say this will be FBC, this is FBC and it is making some angle theta which is required. And then we have the force in AB, let's say this one is the force in AB and the weight of the chandelier, right? So the weight of the chandelier is going to act vertically downward. So we will have the weight vertically downward which is 20 kg so 20 times 9.81 this will be in newtons so if we resolve this FAB and FBC so we will have one component of FBC will be in this direction this one will be the cos component this one will be FBC cos of theta and we will have one horizontal component of FAB and FAB this is 30 degree so we will have that same 30 degree angle here as well so this is that same 30 degree angle so this is 30 so this is FAB cos of 30 so and similarly FBC will have one component in the vertical direction like this this one will be the sine component of FBC and this one the pink one will be the sine component of FAB right but if we apply the sum of the forces in the X so if I apply the sum of the forces in the x this must be equals to zero towards the right is our positive x now we have fbc cos of theta in the positive x so i will write fbc cos of theta and this com this cos component is in the negative x so we will write minus fab cos of 30 degree this is equal to zero so now we want to find uh, cos of theta. So we can put this F A B, right? We, we will put this here, right? So we will have the equation like this. So let me write that this is 
f b c cos of theta minus f a b is 0 0.563 f b c cos of 30 degree this is equal to 0 and now from both of these terms we can take f b c common right so we can write that this is f b c cos of theta minus 0 0.563 cos of 30 degree this is equal to 0 so now is we know that the force in BC is not equals to 0 so if this is not equals to 0 then this must be equals to 0 because the product of both of these is equal to 0 so FBC we can say that the force in rod BC cannot be equals to 0 so this means that cos of theta minus 0 0.563 cos of 30 degree is equal to 0 and from this we can say that cos of theta is equal to 0 0.563 cos of 30 degrees and if we take cos inverse on both sides we will be able to find theta so we can write that theta is equal to cos inverse of this so we can say cos inverse of 0 0.563 cos of 30 this is equal to theta is equal to 60.82 degrees so if you want to have the stress in both the rods uh, equal then this theta must be equal to 60.82 so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from mechanics of materials by rc hibler